Hello, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. My name is Kelsey, and today I'll, go, I'll be going over the second part of logarithm rules. So if you haven't seen the first part of our video, we'll put a link in the description, and uh, you should definitely go check that out. And I will say again that you should definitely have a background in exponents before you check out a video on logarithms. Uh, I'll be going over the exponent rule and the change of base, and I'll also be giving examples for the product rule and the quotient rule. OK, so I wrote the product rule over there. And we're going to use it to solve an example. So say we have x2, 8. Something like this. Uh, and yes, it is solvable by itself. But you can also use the product rule. And I'll show that they're both equivalent. So the product rule states that we can turn this into log base 2 of 32, because 8 times 4 is 32. And that's what the, pro uh, the product rule says we can do. So 2 to the power of what is 32? 2 to the power of 5 is 32. We can confirm this by saying 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 2 to the power of 2 is 4. This is also equal to 5. They're equivalent. So if you're willing to accept that, then you can definitely use the product rule uh, in your examples in math. So that's good. I'm also going to uh, give an example for the quotient rule. So this is very helpful because, say you don't know exactly uh, log base 4 of 32 off the top of your head. Or say you don't know log base 4 of 2 off the top of your head. Well, easy. We have it subtracting, so we can just use the quotient rule to solve this. 32 over 2, that's equal to 16. And very simply, 4 to the power of 2 is 16. So this suddenly became much solvable. All right, so for the next part, I'll be going over the exponent rule. I'm going to prove that to you, and I'm also going to give you an example. So the exponent rule is written over here. I'm going to use, a, if you were here for the first part, I'm going to use a kind of similar way of solving this uh, or proving this. Uh, so if you remember, we can write this in an equivalent statement. We can also write this like this. And then from here, we can give this exponent form. All right, and then we can raise both sides power of y. Uh, so we see both of these are equal to x to the power of y, which also means both of them have to be equal to each other. And just like before, if b to the power of n is equal to b to the power of m, well, that means n has to be equal to m. n is equal to m, then we get the exponent rule right there. All right, and this is very helpful because you can simplify problems pretty easily with this. I'm going to give an example right now. All right, say we had something like log base 5, 25 squared. And you don't necessarily want to calculate, or if you don't know 25 squared off the top of your head, you can just turn this into 2, log base 5, 25. Uh, log base 5 of 25 is 2 because 5 to the power of 2 is 25. 2 times 2 is 4. And so you've solved this pretty easily. OK, next we have the change of base. And this is very, very helpful because on your standard calculator, uh, oftentimes you'll only, be, you'll only have log base 10. So if you were given some log base 7 of 6 or something like that, you'd want to be able to change that into a log base 10 so you can calculate it on your computer. So first I'm going to prove it, and then I'm going to give an example. So, so if you've been following me this entire time, you'll know that these are equivalent statements. I'm going to take some new log base. We're going to call it D. That can be your new base on both sides. 
I'm going to use the exponent rule that I just proved, and I'm going to take this L, I'm going to put it here. All right, I'm going to solve for L on both sides. I apologize, I had to uh, take out that exponent that wasn't supposed to be there, but I took it out. And you can see that L, which is equal to this, which I will rewrite, This log base b of x can be turned into a log base d, some new base of, of uh, x, by just dividing by log base d of b. So, uh, as a quick example, as I said earlier on your calculator, if you're using one that doesn't have a log base other bases aside from 10, if you're using standard calculator that doesn't have that kind of computation. You can change this, something like log base 7 of 9. If they ask you to calculate that very easily, log base 10. And suddenly it becomes something that you can put on your calculator and get a numerical value for. Okay, so that's it for uh, logarithm rules. We hope you learned something very cool. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more, you can click up here to see our playlists uh, of pre-calculus. We have much more on our website. Uh, you can have, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button over here. And you can visit us on centerofmath.org right here. Uh, if you're on a mobile device, there should be an I on the top corner over there. Uh, and if you click it, you should get the same links. Thank you again so much for watching. And we hope you learned something about logarithms.